And I'm from the uh, data science discovery team and in this video today we're going to be doing a question on simulations in an exam. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we want to go ahead and create a simulation of a student uh, taking a multiple choice exam containing four questions and run this simulation a total of 5,000 times, right? So all questions have these five possible answer choices uh, and in your simulation we want to go ahead and you know, write the results of all these questions, which have us, you know, randomly picking an answer, right, um, which represents one of these five choices. Um, and the simulation should, again, randomly pick an answer to each question, and we just need to store our results, which are the results of the um, basically the random answers that we picked for all these 5,000 questions into a data frame. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and uh, define which you know data structure we're going to be storing our results in that we'll go ahead and use to make our data frame in the end, right? So I'm going to go ahead and choose to store my results in a list, right? So, so the first step is going to be to store results in a data structure, um, which will be then used to create the data frame. So uh, the, the list is, you know, one of the easiest options for storing all of your results, right? Which will have, you know, 5,000 basically items within that list, which represents the 5,000 um, answers to, to these questions. So, so the second thing we want to do is actually uh, perform the simulation, which will be um, occurring 5,000 times. And here we're going to go ahead and use a for loop, right? Because um, the for loop, basically each iteration represents a random answer that we selected for one question, right? And since we want to go ahead and perform the simulation 5,000 times, this means there's going to be uh, 5,000 iterations within our for loop because there's 5,000 uh, questions that we need to randomly pick an answer for, right? So in here, I know I'm going to have to use some sort of random dot choice because here I have my list of options to randomly choose from, uh, and random cho dot choice will be able to perform that for me if there was a list of, um, let's say if there was like a random number that we had to pick, then it would have been random dot rand int. But here, since we randomly pick among these five answer choices, which is a list, we're going to go ahead and use random dot choice. So just want to go ahead and um, write my third step, right, which is basically going to be to create the data frame using our data list. And here I'm going to probably use have to use some sort of function like pd.dataframe to go ahead and, you know, create my data frame in the end. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the for loop, right? So I want to do for i in range and then 5,000, right? Because there's 5,000 uh, total questions that we need to answer. And it says run the simulation total 5,000 times. So in this bracket, it kind of goes like the end number of times where you want to run the simulation for or the end number of questions that you want to answer. So this can vary for other problems, but in this case, it's 5,000. And I want to go ahead and define the, the results of each of my question, right? So I know there's four different uh, questions in each multiple choice exam, and there's 5,000 different exams that we need to simulate. And uh, I apologize earlier, I think I was saying 5,000 different questions, but it's actually 5,000 different exams, which each contain four questions, right? So the, the wording can be a bit tricky here because one exam contains four questions, and we need to run the simulation total 5,000 times, which basically means we're taking we're simulating, you know, taking this exam 5,000 times and then seeing all those results. So in each simulation, we want to answer each of these four questions, right? So for Q1, my answer will be um, some sort of random, uh, you know, item from this list of these five answer choices. So I'm going to go ahead and do random.choice. And then within the brackets, it's basically signifying a list. I want to put in, okay, I can each either randomly choose from my five answer choices, which is A, B, C, D, or E, right? And here, 
I have question one answered, and similarly, I want to go ahead and answer four questions, right? So the only thing we're going to kind of differ here, you have four of these um, random answers that you're selecting, but the second one is called question two, and then Q3 and Q4. And this is the, the four questions that I have randomly selected an answer for. So basically my four uh, randomly selected answer in one multiple choice exam, which is in that simulation here. And now I wanna go ahead and add these results into some sort of um, other data structure, right? I want to, each exam I take, I want to keep track of those results. Like, like I can't just go to the next iteration, but what about my results that I chose in my previous exam? Well, I need to store those somewhere, right? So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a list. Um, and to create an empty list in Python, basically just use these opening and closed uh, curly braces here. And my list, my, uh, sorry, my dictionary, uh, this is a dictionary. My dictionary will have basically four entries in it, right? Because there's going to be question one, question two, question three, and question four. So each dictionary will basically have the results of these four questions. And how I store that is I basically want to enter first a key, which is going to be a Q1 and then a value. Well, what is the answer for Q1? It's that random dot choice result that was stored in Q1, right? That represents the answer to question one. And similarly, I wanted to go ahead and do that for question two. Well, my um, question two is called Q2 and it stores uh, the value for question two. Similarly, Q3, it stores the value for Q3 and Q4. And notice how I'm kind of dividing the entries in my dictionary with a comma, and then I'm separating the key value pairs with a, a colon in the middle. So a dictionary is basically what it sounds like. Like it's a data structure which stores a series of key value pairs, right? So it's easier for us to, you know, find anything. So here I'm basically storing all of my results in a dictionary. Well, what am I gonna do with that dictionary now? I need to add it somewhere, right? If I just go on it's it's just going to be replaced each single iteration I need to store that dictionary somewhere well my I, I know I'm storing my results in this cumulative data structure right which I'm gonna store all of my all of my 5,000 uh, exam responses so I want to go ahead and append or add my dictionary to my data list so I, to my data list, I'm appending my dictionary D, which contains the results for this exam in this current simulation. And now I'm just gonna, um, you know, it just repeats 5,000 times. So basically our, uh, our data list will have all of the results for our 5,000 exams. And if you go ahead and print out your cumulative data list to see what it looks like, it's gonna have the results of all those 5,000 dictionaries, right? Because each uh, run, we create a dictionary which we append to our data list. So in the, in the end, our data list will have 5,000 of those data dictionary, of those dictionaries here which will store the random uh, results for each of those four questions. So hopefully that kind of makes more sense how the, the whole logic works here. But we don't want to return a list, right? We want to return a data frame. And to go ahead and do that, again, I'm going to use a pd.dataframe function. And we want to call it df, right? So df equals pd.dataframe. And I just want to convert my data list essentially this list will get condensed into a data frame, right? And how that works is that basically the, the column name is going to be called Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, because in pd.dataframe basically takes a list which contains um, columns as well as their values. And that's why we called the entries in our dictionary Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, because it specifies in the question that um, the first question must be called, you know, Q1, Q2, and Q3 and Q4. And then when we create our data frame, those are also the names of those specific columns, right? So that's why um, that's like that. So now when we print out our data frame, you can see here that we have all those 5,000 rows, right? Because there were 5,000 simulations. And we have four columns, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, because that's what we specified in our dictionary, which we 
added to our entire list of all those 5,000 simulation results, which was then combined into a data frame. And each column basically stores our random results. So if I um, you know, submit my code for grading, I think we did everything the question asked. It said four questions, so we have four questions here, total of 5,000 times. And when I submit it, well, it's correct. So I hope this video uh, was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.